All right, welcome everybody. You have, this is round two. I should have got this chart ready. Uh, I apologize for that, but listen, uh, I'm ready to go. Okay, so let's take a look at where we're at right now. So we've we've gone through all the other charts just a little minute ago, and uh, one of the things we we're looking at is we're just looking at all of the different uh, areas that we really have support and resistance right here. I mean, as you can see, we're kind of on this save me line, right? This is like a definitely a save me. See, this worked as resistance, resistance. I uh, just got snapped right through, worked as a little uh, resistance right here, and then now it's turned back into support. So we do have this as converted to support right now. So for the bulls, that's, that's a great thing, is they need to hold this line. And one of the things is really, it's not this line that I'm worried about, right? This is not the line I'm worried about. The bulls right now have to hold 9,000. I mean, that's just... That's just everything in a pocket is everything needs to be held. The bulls have got to hold 9,000 right here in the 9,000 area, right? It's a little support down here at the 8,800 range, but there's a big void in here below this. So there's a big void right here sitting right in this area right here. And there's really not any support. There's a little at 8,400 and change. Uh, we got that on the, the Gauss lines. We got a little bit, I think, on uh, one of the uh, Bollinger Bands. But other than that, like the, the heavy support is all going to be way down here in the 8,000 range, okay? So we're going to buzz through the charts really quick. This is the chart I'm going to leave running for everybody. So there's the trend line from the bottom. This goes all the way down to the bottom of the uh, this initial run all the way to the top here. So that's the trend line. You see that's why that 9,000 is so important right here. They've got to hold this 9,000 in here to hold this long-term trend line that goes way back yonder i mean this baby goes look there there it goes there it goes you right all the way back yonder so that is a long long trend line that uh that just brushes all the way up there right there didn't quite clip that bad boy at the bottom hmm let me just kind of scoot that right there all right gotta adjust this one adjust this a little bit all right there we go. All right, there we go. So at least I'm, I'm kind of in line right there. My trend line is close. But you see that that 9,000 area is just an absolute must hold for the bulls right now. And as long as we're holding that area right now, this is the bulls game to lose, right? This is the bulls game to lose. It's that simple. Something I just showed to the members, we are on a ride or die line. And this line right here, this is on our, uh, this you come over here, this is the God Mode 3.1 chart. Uh, the green line, listen, this white line right here, this white horizontal is a ride or die line, okay? You, you see, look at the resistance, 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 resist, support, support. I mean, you can go down the line. This is a pretty significant support. It's a pretty significant line. We are on it right now. Like, we're just, like, we're just, we've stuck the tip in. We've slowly slid the tip in, right? This is like first date in high school. Just going to put the tip in. That's it. We're not going to go any deeper. I swear to God, this is it, right? And uh, yeah, so we just got the tip in right now. This is dangerous. We've got to be really careful right here because we don't want to make any bear babies, right? This is, this is going to get ugly if this bad boy breaks, right? So we all know how 18 years of child support ends up. Uh, here is a longer term trend line, right? This longer term trend line is a very, very, you know, this, this is, does great. You know, re rejection, 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 you know, right here, rejection, uh, broke through it, right? Like right in here, rejection, pulled it back. And now we're down here. We've turned this into support, right? We've turned this line into support right here. Let's see what happens. This is, uh, once again, this rolls over like a bitch on us. This is going to get really ugly really fast. Long as the short's not showing us anything, not giving us any good information. Uh, just that the shorts are in a uh, dangerous oversold category range. Uh, rangy for the longs RSI. Other than that, really nothing to see. This is with the line chart. If you're not using the 12-hour the line chart, I highly recommend it. Uh, one thing I do want to show you is there was a massive head and shoulders that formed up here. See this massive head and shoulders? I threw this bad boy up here before it ever happened. You can go back in my videos, go back in my TA. I called this before it actually finally dumped, but that was a beautiful uh, head and shoulders right there. But we had that actual catastrophe. Now, this could be a big-ass head and shoulders. It's possible. 
it's possible. I do want to take a look at a few things I want to show you guys real quick, right? Uh, one thing is like, you know, you, I, I don't want to call it a double top, higher high, lower high, higher high, lower high, higher high, lower high, higher high, nee, double topish. Nee, I would I would call that double top right there. I would call that a double top. Uh, I'd call that a double top. So I would call that a double top for sure. But you know, you did put in a lower low, a lower high right here. So this area is once again very, very critical to here. But it, you know, the way this stands right here, this is still a little bearish. This is still bearish. Okay, I take that back. This is not bearish until we lose the trend line. There's the trend line again from all the way from the bottom to where we're at. Look, held, 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 and 9,000 range, right? 9,044. Uh, a little below 9K if it just dropped down, took a turd on us right here. But relatively in the uh, the 9,000 range, right? This is relatively in the 9K. This is why I'm saying the 9,000 is so important right here. It is not a superficial line. It is an uh, it is a ride and or die line. They've got to hold that, right? Uh, if you're not using, listen, I recommend everybody to have a CME futures chart open because if you're going to play something, honestly, you just need to play with the whales. The whales are the only ones betting millions, gambling millions on these CME futures charts. And I'm talking millions. Uh, if you want to take a look, there's the CME gap down there, 7,600 that's open. There's the 11,795. Uh, 11, and then we have two gaps that are open all the way down here. Don't forget about 3,595. There it is. That is a daily gap. It is still open. Uh, we are all the way up here. Remember, we cleared out that huge, giant gap we had. We had this massive 500, no, 1,200-point gap, whatever the hell it was. It was a huge gap, right? We cleared out that 1,200-point gap, whatever it was, that scam gap. Boy, funny how that got. Then we closed out the lower gap. So now we're just playing. We, we, we got it. We got, we're going. We're either going to go mamma jamma, crazy whamba bamma, or we're going to come down here, close out 7,600, then try to make that run up to the 11,800. I don't know where we're at right now, okay? Uh, the ADX chart, not helping me at all. Not really helping me at all. Uh, nothing that's not helping me. Uh, CMF chart, we're, we, we seem to be teasing ourselves closer and closer to the zero line, right? And it's very simple. You, 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 you drop below this. You don't want to get... You, you just don't want to come below the zero line, right? And it's very, listen, this was the bear area. Look, here is the, look at, there's the, this is below the zero line, right? So in order to get, you look, a lot of people bought down here. There's a lot of Bitcoin being held down here, a ton of it. So to get bearish again, you're going to have to clear out these guys down here. And they're still, they, you know, they're still holding on to those BTC. It's going to be interesting to see what happens here over these next two months i would say simply because we're post having big things fireworks phew, supposed to all happen here pretty quickly uh, and when i talk quickly i talk in the month time frame I'm not talking in like the daily time frame uh still the two-day chart right the two-day chart making still a good argument for this big massive head and shoulders right here look at that big bear shooting star candle followed by another big bear shooting star candle with a td9 on the two-day chart uh, this all has played out very nicely. Uh, There's still an argument to be made for this is a big bearish head and shoulders. That would clear out the 7,600 first before we would run to try to clear out that 11,800. Uh, okay, so if you believe in Bitcoin, turn away. Turn away from the screen. <laughs> turn away from the screen. <laughs> Don't look, okay? If you're a Bitcoin maximalist and you believe... And fairies and unicorns do not look at this chart, all right? Because this could possibly end up being one of the world's largest, giant, big-ass bear flags, right? Like, this could still be. Uh, we see what we need to do to invalidate that. In order to invalidate, right? So, do in. Like, we just need to run hard, right? I mean, we need to run hard over this line. 
to invalidate this giant bearish ass triangle, right? Because it, let's say we run up here at 11, you know, it's this is a three month chart. You still got 45 days in it. It's, it's got a long way to go. Let's say we pop up here 11, 2, 3, uh, 2, 6 and get rejected back down. Whew, boy, be still my beating heart because that is going to be a horrific drop all the way back down there, right? This is going to be scary, wary, mammy, jammy to, to, to go from 11 back down to three. I mean, you know, this is got to love Bitcoin. This is how they the whales and the market makers make their money. But still, this is a very ugly chart to look at. All right. Um, here we go. Great chart. Uh, this is the three day with the MACD. Right. If you're not, this is the MACD chart. Look at this pump, pump. See the trend line. Look at the trend line. Pumpy pump. Right. Hit the resistance. Dumpy dump. And right now you need to hold your breath. If you are a bull, if you are a bull in this moment, you have two to five days right now in which you're going to hold your breath and pray to your baby bull gods that this is going to break over this trend line because we are coming into the resistance. We're not there right now. It's probably going to happen next. Uh, it Well, for sure, it's going to happen in the next couple candles. Uh, but listen, we, I'm sorry, in the next candle, I think in the next candle, we're going to get up here into this range and uh, possibly tap this trend line. Of course, it's possible to dump out early. If it dumps out early, it is what it is. Uh, the other possibility is like this could be forming a massive bullish wedge right here. Just playing this bullish wedge and kind of zoom along right here and then take off again. Uh, simply, I got to put that there because of the halving. So I'm going to mark this off as a big bullish. Like this could form some kind of crazy bullish triangle right here, right? like this and you have some big ass bullish triangle play out right here come all the way down 85 bounce around just shake everybody out and then take off to the top side once again that would invalidate that massive bearish no that would still not invalidate that massive. you got 11 2 so you, even if you broke out of this triangle you could totally run up to 11 2 no problem and still not invalidate that big giant bearish triangle okay so uh there's that and moving along, uh, you see the support we're on. We're sitting on the support on the daily Gauss lines. There's nothing. Look, gap to 84, 86, 8, 83. Like, is, is that 83 range where I have a little support right there? But there's there's nothing below. Like, we're being held up by the three-day. We're being held up by the daily. So those are holding the price action up. Uh, once again, this kind of coincides a little bit higher than that trend line. But uh, coincides with that 9K. Uh, over on the Gal on the uh, Bollinger Bands, uh, you take a look at the Bollinger Bands. Look, there's nothing. There's nothing. 8K, everything is low. Everything is low in the higher time frames. Three-day, four-day, weekly, monthly. Everything is like beef butt cake low. Uh, but, the, you know, you go run in here, you can run. We got some, we got some room to run on the top side. Uh, same thing. These are all the 12 daily, two-day, three-day. Uh, you know, it, 10, 3, 10, you still got a shit. Look at all of the resistance right up here. 10, 1, 10, 1, 5, 10, 1, 5. Uh, there's just 10, 3, 10, 1. This is 10, 1 on the three day. The 10, 3. Like there's, a, it's going to be really hard to break out here to the top side, I feel, right? I just feel it's going to be really, really difficult to get a punch over that 10, 3 range. Uh, right here. Yeah, I, you know, it would be interesting. I mean, could we go up and do another double top? Sure, we could. I mean, a triple top, whatever the fuck it would be at this point. Uh, but look at the downside here being held up by the middle Bollinger Band 9K. There's that 9K trend line area, but it's it's just eights below that. You, you know, you're going back into the eights. So, what I'm trying to say is there's not much support right here. There's not much support right here. We've got to, it's other than this trend line. This, the 9K is the line in the sand. As long as 9K holds, this is still a balls, bulls ball game. The bulls are in control until they lose 9K. Literally, you could just run all the way down to 9K, long to 9K, losing 9K. Lights out, party's over. You're going to have to uh, rethink the scenario of where this is going to go to find support. I'm the Vamp, and I am out.